Good morning, everybody from Mars. No, nobody's awake yet. Everybody's still yeah. sleeping. Hello. Hello. Oh, my God. Look at all these avatars. Avatars everywhere. Oh, these little, these little, what do you call them? Manga, manja, anime. What is it? Manga? 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 No, I think it's anime. Anime. Oh, my God. What's the difference between anime and manga? Anime is just like animation and uh, manga uh, is just uh, like a comic. Oh, manga is comics, not computerized. Oh, 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 oh. Now, now I know. <laughs> okay. See, you got to teach this old guy some new things, too. Hmm. All you young, young folks. And don't know all these new these new slangs and these new things and new forms of entertainment such as manga and animal anime. I guess I knew what that was. Anime, it's just animation. Yeah. All right. Okay. So you ready for some Romeo and Juliet today? Maybe. Maybe yes. Maybe no. Little Lily, you still got a foggy camera. What's the matter with your webcam? Always so foggy. Looks like you're in the rain. My mom goes to work today. Oh, so she keeps leaving you with the old Sorry. laptop. So Chi Sung is on the way. Not on the oh, way. okay. Chi Sung is going to try this one. Huh? Well, this was the group he was in before. So this is likely the best level for him. Just wish he'd participate a little bit more. If he does, yes. Yeah. That's like, like I said, I wish. I wish he would participate a little bit more. But we'll see what happens. Oh, Lee Red, you look like a Christmas tree. No, <laughs> no, it's, it's Christmas tree. It's Donnie the Christmas tree. It's Christmas, yes. No, or Donnie the apple pie. No, not apple pie. You're not an apple pie. Yes, apple oh. pie is apple. Cocoa pie. <laughs> apple <laughs> is. <laughs> I didn't say cocoa pie. I said apple pie. Big difference. <laughs> uh, oh, what the heck? That's not on. Sheesh. Get back here. There we go. I, like, I thought there was a little less light there. Ah, that's right. Ah, okay. So did your mom get the cameras and everything fixed in her classroom yet? We did a little test with her on I don't know. Sunday or something, and we haven't heard I haven't heard a word. About anything, we were supposed to talk to the IT guy about teaching those classes there at your mom's school, and you don't know. What do you know? I don't have anything. You got to go find out. That's your job. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what. Even Lay hasn't said anything about your mom recently, so I don't know what's going on. Hmm. So, do you know the story of Romeo and Juliet, Donnie? No. I don't know. I don't hear. You never heard that story? Mm, no. Um, oh, never. it's probably it's probably one of the most, if not the most famous love story in history. It is one of the most famous love stories in history. I can't believe you've never heard of Romeo and heard. Juliet. What about you, Lily? Have you heard of Romeo and Juliet? No. No. But you, you guys should be acting it out in school. Mimi, oh. you know it? Mm, I hear, I heard about it, but I, I don't know that's that story. Mm, I, hear heard about the, I hear about that a lot. You heard about it, but you don't know the story. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, today we're going to have a summary of a summary, right? Condensed story. A summary of the story of Romeo and Juliet. Who wrote Romeo and Juliet? Who is the author? Two weeks ago, what was our lesson about? Maybe hey, hey, from, hey. from Avon. Hey, hey. He was a playwright and a poet. He helped create a lot of words in the English language. What was his name? What? Remember the guy we wrote, we read about last week. He, he's a famous English playwright. He used to write plays. And he wrote Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet and Caesar. He wrote all these famous, famous, famous plays, poems. He died on his birthday. 
Anne Hathaway, I think he married. You guys don't remember? The most famous playwright in the world? You don't remember his name either? Are you sure? Well, now you think you're Spider Man, huh? (laughs) (laughs) Donnie the Spider Man. The Spider Man. Well, Spider Man is a teenager, so it's possible. Maybe Donnie is the real Spider Man. What do you think, Mimi? You think Donnie's the Spider Man? Uh, I don't think so. You don't think so? Hmm. I think he's American. Lily, you don't remember who we read last week? Look at your book. Don't you have your book in front of you? Look at the lesson last week. Who did we read about? It's rainy outside now. It's rainy outside. It looks like it's rainy inside your house. Yes, I <laughs> It looks rainy, rainy in the house. Soft raining. Raining there. Well, you're all in comfort. No, no. Milo is in, uh, you're in Vandon, yeah? Oh, yeah. Lily from Kumpha. Lily's in Kumpha. Oh. Donnie's next to Kumpha, right? You're kind of like in between, in between Kumpha and, um, oh, what's that place? In between Kumpha and uh-huh, Bandon. Koizong, okay. Ko- Koizong, Ko- what is it? Koizo? What, uh, what's the name of that place where you cross the bridge to go over to Vandon Island? Um, um. What is it? Koong. Koong. Yeah, it was ko- coconut something. I, I remember the cocoa. Nah. Koong. Yeah. Donnie oh. lives halfway between Koong and, and downtown Kumfa. Right. What's the name of the area? Oh, no Hitler up here. Get that off the screen. <laughs> get that off the screen. What? Yes. You get us in a whole bunch of trouble if you put that on the screen. Don't do that. Hitler. Yeah. No, no. He's. He's not a good, you know, it's okay to have a topic of, about talking about him, but you don't want to put his flag and all that stuff up on your, on your banners. You'll get in trouble for that for sure. Yes, I know. Yeah, that's a bad, a bad topic, <laughs> a very bad topic. Um, yeah, so what's the area you live in, Donnie? I'm in uh, Kwangling. Well, you're in Kwangling province, yeah. Kwangling but, Ruby. But- but you're not you, you, the place you where you live is not considered Kamfa. What is it called? No, it's Kamfa. It's Kamsun. Belong to Kamsun. Yeah, Kamsun, ah, because it's kind of on the outskirts of the main area of Kamfa. Yeah, and Milo, you're in Dun- Vandon, right? Yeah, or, I'm in Vandon. Oh. You're in Vandon. Yeah, that's right. And Lily is in Africa. That's why we have such a foggy. Foggy picture. She's, She's in Zimbabwe. Africa. She's from Africa. Yeah. Her mom works there. So she has to live in Africa. It's like uh, 10 a.m. there now. <laughs> right, Lily? Did you see any giraffes today? No. Any gorillas? Yes, in the picture. Oh, some of the gorillas. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Tree Sung is supposed to be coming in. I, I saw him sign in, but he's not here anymore. Tree Sung was in this class uh, when you guys, just before Donnie, uh, well, a little bit before Donnie. Who is Tree Sung? Tree Sung is from Halong, Halong, Halong Bay. Um, he was in this group, this class, which has changed a lot of students more than the other classes. Um, because this was a zucchini and tree sung and a couple of others, I forget. Um, when you guys were back in interests eight and nine and ten, but then he stopped for like a year and he's tried out the interest 31, um, but he's going to try this one tonight. So, yeah, he's from he's from Halong. If he joins us, I saw him sign in, but now he disappeared. So, I don't know how long. Yeah. Yeah, so all of you are in Kwanling, but all different places. <laughs> we still have a lot of students from up north in Kwanling. If it wasn't for Kwanling, we'd probably be in trouble. <laughs> but we've got students from, there he comes back. We've got students in, in some of the other provinces. I don't remember the names of the provinces. Down south near, near Ho Chi Minh. We've got some from Hanoi now. We've got some, well, of course, we've got some from Da Nang. We and other countries, we have students from the Philippines. We have students, a few students from Indonesia. 
And we have stewed what? Well, we have one, but I think another one's coming back from India. So we're starting to get more students from different countries, which is really cool. Really cool. All right. So let's see if Tree Sung's here. We'll say hello. Hopefully he fixed his microphone today because I'm going to be, I'm not going to be happy if he didn't fix his microphone because last class he couldn't do any reading. His microphone kept cutting out. Good morning, Tree Sung. Are you here, Tree Sung? Oh, no. He's cut out again. Is he back or what? 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 No, he signed out again. All right. Well, he already knows. Oh, no, there he is. Tree Sung, are you here? What's going on? All right. So we're going to start our story anyway. Like I said, Romeo and Juliet. Now, did you guys check your student book yet to see? Did, to see what the lesson was last week? Who was the man we read about last week? He used to write plays. This is back in the, oh, my God. What was it? 1600s? Yeah, he was born. Oh, 1582, is it? Oh, my God. That's like 450 years ago. Uh, no, he OK. He was born April 23rd, 1564. And he died in April 23rd, oh. 1616. So I think he was like 52 years old. Or was it 40? Yeah, OK, so. To 1604, he would have been 40, 70, 80, 90, 04, 40, 14, 50. So 52. Yeah, he was 52 years old when he died. Same age as me. Oh, my God. Hmm. What was his name? Come on. Don't you have your student book? Show me your student books. Yeah, oh, yeah, student I book. still lost for two days. You lost your book for two days. I don't believe you. Donny, show maybe, me. Maybe my grandparents see it and think it's trash. <laughs> they thought it was trash. <laughs> because it's, I think it's like black trash. and white. Oh my God. How could Can they throw my book away? See that. The trash. Yeah, check the trash. Maybe it's still in the trash with the bananas. No. <laughs> I went on holidays that day. Show me your book, Donnie. Oh. Where's what? your book? Show me your oh. book. Oh, I don't know. Where's your book? Ah, see, Mimi's got it. She's a good girl. My book is upset today. You a bad boy, and Lily's a bad girl. <laughs> oh no! You bad boy. You don't have your book. No, my book is upset today. Well, go get it. We're not starting until you tell me who we read about last week. William Sapir. Yes, William Shakespeare. That's right. Oh, okay. William. I know. Yes. Shakespeare. That's who wrote the play. Bacchus, Romeo and Juliet first. Of course, in, in 1500s and 1600s, we didn't have TV and we didn't have movies. So everything was live acting on a stage. Yeah, they were called plays in a theater. Right. There were no cinemas oh. then. Cinemas weren't invented until the 20th century, I think. I think the first films that were made were like in the early 1900s with uh, Charlie Chaplin. And there were silent black and white movies. They would just dance. And, but there was no sound in the first, first, first movies. So, of course, William Shakespeare wrote uh, the play, Romeo and Juliet, but I couldn't find a good picture of Romeo and Juliet. So we have, uh, yeah, Romeo and Juliet or Juliet and Romeo. So basically what happens here, there were two young, I don't know how old they were. Maybe, maybe they were adolescents or, or young adults, I guess. But of course, they fell in love with each other back in those days, a long time ago. And the, the story takes place in Italy in a city called Verona. I think it's close to Venice. I'm not sure where Verona is. I didn't actually check. But the problem was their families hated each other. They were like mortal enemies. Um, the family, where was it? Romeo was from which family? 
Mm. <laughs> Romeo is a member of the Montague family, and Juliet was from the Cap Capul uh, Capulet. Can you speak louder? I can hear. Well, then it's something wrong with your microphone. Yes. <laughs> Turn your volume up. I'm going to do share sound here, maybe. Maybe. Okay, that might be better. Yeah, so Romeo was from the family, from a member of the Montague, Montague family. I think I'm pronouncing it all right. I'm not sure. And Juliet was from the Capulet, Capulet, Capulet family. Capulet. But the problem was the families were mortal enemies. They hated each other. They were fighting against each other all the time. So if uh, the Montague family knew that Romeo was in love with Juliet, it would have started a war. And same thing, if the Capulet family knew that Juliet loved Romeo, they would start a war. <laughs> they really hated each other. So they had, to, uh, they had to have their love in secrecy. So that's what the story is going to be about. So it's a really good story. Very cool ending. All right. Chi Sang, are you finally here? All right. So let's get started. Our first word today. I already said this word just a minute ago. Summary. Summary. No, summary is when you, when you <laughs> condense a story and just get to the point. What, Donnie? No, no, no. I just read the sentence. Oh, oh the sentence. Mm -hmm. The Arctic wolves. A person, animal, or thing that is part of a group. We've, we've had this word before, I think. Take part in. A what? A party? Take part in. A pig person. party. Person. Donnie, person. A person. Oh. <laughs> you must. Yeah, you must be a club member to golf here. You need a membership if you want to golf in this golf course. But actually, I think... Oh. Every golf course, you have to buy a membership, just like the gym, right? You got to get a membership. You become a member to use everything they have at the at the gym and all their equipment and everything else in their different clubs. And you would be a member of the wolf pack, right? Um, wolves travel in groups, families, and packs. They have, uh, you know, they have a leader of the pack, and they have. They have, uh, you know, the mom of the pack and all the kids and the cousins and everybody else. And they always travel in big groups. That's how they hunt. That's how they do everything. The opposite of like a bear. A bear is very independent, right? After the, the baby bear, the cub, the cub will grow up with the mom for the first two years of its life. And after two years, then that's that. Now the bear goes on his own and he gets his own territory and he starts doing all his own hunting and he starts his own little family but they they travel alone they don't travel in groups but wolves are not like that wolves travel in packs just like orcas and killer whales you know you know the orca and the killer whales the black and white whales yeah they're the kings of the ocean they're very nice to people but they're not nice to the other fish and the other mammals in the ocean. They are the, the strongest and most dangerous I'm come back. in the ocean. You came back, not I come back. I will come back in the future. Now you're here. So I came back. Oh, yes. I came back. I'm here. Hello. Yeah. So they, uh, do you know the orcas? They're known also as killer whales. Right? They got the black and white spots on them. You know those whales? Maybe yes. Maybe yes. I'm sure you've seen pictures of them. They're really big. They're not as big as like the blue whale or the sperm whale or the gray whales, but they are the kings of the ocean. And they also, like wolves, travel in packs. You have the whole family and cousins and uncles and grandma and grandpa and everybody's in the pack and they all hunt together and they're very, very, very smart. And they really like seals and penguins. Those are like chicken wings and pizza. <laughs> yeah, and these wolves are Arctic wolves. That's why they're also white. But they play naughty. And one's biting the other one's tail. Oh, my God. They go. They're cute. <laughs> no. But they're very, well, they are cute. They're very playful. Yeah. But they're practicing their hunting skills, yeah? They always practice. And 
I, I I love wolves. I think they're they're amazing creatures. But yeah, they're very dangerous, especially they the f- aggressive. The most aggressive. They what? They're aggressive. Aggressive. Well, you know they're wild animals. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you, you see, he's biting his tail. Ouch! You're biting my tail. Come back here. <laughs> um. Yeah, the timber wolves and the gray wolves and those northern will, wolves up in northern Ontario, northern Ontario, northern Canada, northern Russia, northern uh, in Alaska as well. Yeah, they're dangerous because um, you know even even with people they're dangerous. So they'll, they'll hunt people too, and there's so many of them. You know, if it was just one, you have a chance to fight. But they're very big, they're very strong, they're very wild, and they don't fight fair. You know, they'll attack you with. 10, 15, 20 wolves at one time. So, yeah, that's why they're so dangerous. But they are beautiful, beautiful animals. I think all animals are beautiful. All right. Member. So, there we go. We have Mimi Milo on the board today. Mimi, there you are. Chisung, how are you? Hello, Joe. How are you today? I'm fine. You're fine, huh? Are you enjoying your summer holidays? I see you got a new microphone. Do you have a new laptop today? No, we don't have a. Oh, no, Trisang. Trisang. Do you have a new laptop today, Trisang? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's why I can hear you. All right. F- fix your camera there so we can see your mouth. So when you're talking, I know you're talking. Adjust your camera. What's another word for extremely angry? Upset. Confused. Set confused? No, not confused. Confused. Annoyed. Annoyed. No, confused means you fix your camera, tree son. Confused means you're you don't know what the answer is, right? You're not sure what to do. Uh, what was the other one? Said confused, and you said something else. Tree son, fix your camera. Last time. Furious. Furious is the right word. Yeah, furious. Furious means very angry, but you guys said another word. What was it? You said confused. Donnie, what did you say, Mimi? Annoy. Annoy. Oh, annoy. Annoy is to annoy is um when someone is bothering you. Mm-hmm. <coughs> like, imagine you're trying. <coughs> Excuse me. Um Imagine you're trying to watch a video on YouTube or something, or you're playing a game, or you're in class, or you're watching TV, and Trevette is constantly bugging you and poking you and, and asking you to do something and get something, and they won't stop bothering you. Then your sister is being annoying. Annoying. Yeah, to annoy someone. Or you're trying to write a text and someone's talking to you. It's like, give me a minute. Will you wait? Wait. Annoying. Uh, oh, yeah. So put the word up here. Sorry. Okay. Am I freezing here? What's going on? Oh, there we go. Ah, no. Okay. There it is back again. Furious, Donnie. Yes. Furious. Furious. Yeah. Fear, 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 just like, well, not fear, fur, fear, 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 fury, 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 furious, yeah, furious, Lily, furious, furious, yeah, Mimi, furious, furious, yeah, very furious, very angry. Would you throw your phone and smash it like that? No, because it costs too much money. And I don't want to buy another one. (laughs) I'll throw someone else's phone, but not mine. (laughs) Oh, secret. I think so. Secret. Secret. Yeah, I'll tell you a secret, a piece of information that only you know. By one person or a few people, but and shouldn't be told to others. What's this guy? What's his job? Who is he? He is a doctor. 
He's what? He's talking. He's talking. Yeah. Doctor. Oh. Uh, I don't. Well, it's like a pasture. I don't really know all the differences no, between them. Doctor. A doctor? No, he's talking about the pastor. Bible, the Christian churches. What, Donny? Yes. What did you say? Well, pasture. Yeah, I, I, it's something like a pasture, but I'm not really sure what the differences are. To tell. There's so many things with religions and and the people who talk and, and preach. There's preacher as well. So I really don't know the difference between a preacher, a pastor, and a... Mm. But in my church, where I went to church as a kid, um, this is what we called him. And he would read the read parts of the Bible to us in Mass. But as it says here, that's really re related to Christian church. Christian churches. Starts with a P. P? Yeah. Person. A person, yeah. Well, it's a person for sure. It's a person. Yeah. I'm not really sure what the difference between a preacher and Christ. Yeah, that's what it is. Try again, Mimi. Christ. It's not a priest. It's a priest. Is how priest. we say. It. Yeah. Yeah, priest. Priest. Yeah, it's like the I is silent. Priest. Priest. But let's see now. So it is a priest. That's Mimi Milo's point. Past, pastor, pastor versus um, preacher. Yeah, preacher. Preacher. Okay, let's see. Oh, and then there's a minister too. And then there's a reverend. And then priest. Oh my God, there's a lot of titles here. Sheesh. So let's just see what they say about pastor and preacher. Difference between a preacher and a pastor. The preacher has the job that emphasizes more on proclaiming the words of God or the teachings of the Bible as Jesus Christ, while a pastor's job, oh, a, pa a, blah, 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 a pastor administers the congregation of its members, while preachers are often assistants of pastors to preach the word of God in church members. So preachers are often assistants to the pastors, but they both speak to the people. It's all part of that 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 that, that group of people who who you know read passages of oh not minister priest priest priest. But I think like Orthodox Church and Catholic Church and and uh, Christian churches and these different different ones. Um, I do think that some of them have different names. Yeah. All right. Let's try here. Okay. Try that. Uh, Lily, priest. Priest. That's yeah, pretty easy. Donnie, a priest. Priest. Pre, like prepare. Priest. Priest. Yeah. Tree song. Priest. Priest. Yeah. So a priest. Someone who reads the Bible and gives sermons, performs religious duties. Yeah, there's a lot of it. My mom studies that, but uh, I, 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 I don't know a lot about religions. So I, I'm not going to try to give any education on religion because I don't know enough. And the older you get, the more you realize how much you don't know. Hmm. Yeah, it is a potion. That's good. This one is going to be a special potion, or sometimes we'd call it a magic potion. Special potion. Magic potion. Magic potion. Well, it could be one or the other. It depends on the story, right? Like in Cinderella, is it? No, it's um, Snow White. The potion in the apple. Yeah. In Cind uh, not Cinderella, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, which is a classic uh, cartoon Disney movie. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the the princess. What did they do? What did they do? I'm trying to. No, no, it was an apple. The Wicked Witch wanted to harm the princess. Of course, there's always a bad. 
person and a good person in, in, in these stories. But she gave her a poison apple. But what broke the spell from this poison apple, I think, was a was the kiss of a prince, like true love or something like that. It's been so long since I've seen the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I, I don't remember them now. I'm trying to think of a story where they had a secret potion or a magic potion or a special potion. I can't remember now. There are some some fairy tale stories that have special potions or magic potions. I can't think of one. But Romeo and Juliet, there is a special potion in the story which uh, Juliet Juliet takes. So you'll you'll learn about that later. So it's a magical or special potion. Kind of a secret medicine. Okay. Three, two. Mimi. So let's try that, Donnie. Special potion. Uh, special potion. Very good. Lily, special potion. Special potion. Yeah. One more time, Mimi. Special potion. Special potion. Good. Trisang, special potion. Yes, your potion. Yeah. By the way, everybody, that's Tree Sung from Halong Bay. We can finally see his face. Handsome young man, isn't he? No, no, no. No, he's not handsome. Mimi. Tree Sung's handsome, oh, yeah. No, of course not. Donnie. Hmm? Tree Sung's yeah. handsome, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. There you go. See, at least someone says you're handsome. Don't happy. have a happy boy. We do. Chi yeah. Sung is a big football player. He loves to play football. Oh you it's hear like Tommy he said? He said that no ugly boys. So no he, ugly boys. You see, you see that he's so what that unfair, right? So it's also <laughs> no ugly girls, right? No one is ugly, right, Donnie? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so kind of fair. I won't be a so, so Lily and Mimi Milo are pretty girls. No. No. They're normal. <laughs> no, they're normal. normal. Donnie says no. Yeah, everyone normal. Everyone's normal. Everybody Nobody's normal. normal. What is normal? We had this conversation before. We are what? normal. What so is society? Think so? Yeah. It's what the average person would do, would be normal. Yeah. The general population is usually normal. It doesn't mean it's right, mm -hmm. but that would be considered normal. But there's always exceptions for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. All right, special potion. So, Trisang, Mimi Milo is from Bandon. Lily is from Kumfa. And Donnie is from Afghanistan. Hey, what? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> He's from. He's Kumfa. from the Christmas tree. He's no. from the Christmas tree. He's yes. born from the Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Santa Claus brought him to his family. Mm -hmm. yeah. Santa Claus. So he's got uh, a red clothes. And he's got his Christmas tree shirt on today. Just need a little bit of green. <laughs> uh, no, Kum Sung. So you're all in Sun. Guan Ling. Right? Not Kum Sun. Where are you? I'm from Kum Sun. Yeah, Kum Sun, I said. I said Kum Sun, Van Dun, Kum Fa, and Halong. Uh, uh, most student here is from Li. All four of you are from ancient. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, ancient. So what is this? Oh, there it is. The play button. Yeah, ancient. Terracotta, terracotta, terracotta. I don't know how they pronounce that. Terra. I think it's terracotta, like got, gotta, but I'm not sure. Warriors, that's an amazing find. And that was only a few years ago, not long ago. Do you know where that is? Terracotta, terracotta Warriors? No. No? See all the soldiers, statues in the ground? There's like, thou there's like a thousand statues of soldiers. It was all underground from... Oh, well, I'm going to tell you because it's history and it's good to know because you may not ever learn about it in school. So you may as well learn about the world in English with Trevor and English with Lay. Well, it's like my banner says on my Facebook, on my YouTube channel. 
more than just English, because we don't just learn English. We learn history, geography. We learn all kinds of different things. Terracotta Warriors. Hmm? It's in Japan, China. Oh, I know. I know that. I know. I know. You know them, huh? Yes. Yeah, it's unbelievable. All these carvings of all these soldiers, the Terracotta Army. Oh, okay. It's in a magazine. It said that it had a lot of color. Now it's gone. I remember. A lot of color? Yes, I remember in a magazine. Oh, maybe. Maybe they had color before. But the, these are, they were made almost 2,000 years ago, these statues. The year... Between the year 2010, no, before before Christ, more than 2,000 years ago, before Jesus Christ was born. Yes. 2000, 210, 209. This is like the beginning of the Punic Wars and the beginning of the Roman Empire. This is ancient. This is a long time ago. And when you think that these people who lived in this, this place, this village, wherever it is, I forget where, Qi Shi Huang. Army of Qi Shi Huang. He was the, the, the emperor then, I guess. But where was it? Emperor of China. Mm, we'll find out in a minute. Uh, the Terracotta Army is a collection of terracotta sculptures depicting the armies of Qin Shi Huang. Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. It is a form of a funeral art burial with warriors from 210, 209 BC with the purpose of protecting the emperor in his afterlife. Wow. That is absolutely amazing. And there's horses, sculptures of horses and chariots and weapons, everything. It's unbelievable. You know how, how, how can you imagine trying to do that even today? Thousand soldiers just for your, your, your graveyard. That's incredible. In China, yeah. I think it's not far from Beijing. Let's see. But it is remarkable. Do, 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 the Imperial Qixing Mausoleum Site Museum. And yes, they built over top of the site. They turned it into a museum, of course. Yes. And that is... No, this is like in the center of China. Like, like right in between Beijing and Chengdu and Shanghai, right in the middle. There's nothing. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I think that's absolutely amazing. This one, Cappadocia. Cappadocia is another uh, uh, incredible, amazing um, site. This is in Turkey, central Turkey. And this civilization, they built all their homes inside of cave, rocks and mountains and, 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 and in the ground. And they actually built two cities about 14 kilometers long underground. And in the underground city, two of them, like one here and then deeper, there was another one. Oh, no, not deeper. There was another one. And a few kilometers away, there was another city. And these cities like they were like real cities they had underground markets underground stables for the horses everybody lived underground do you know why i don't know why would you want to live underground maybe no because it's private i didn't think so if it's private <laughs> well I, i'm gonna guess that i'm gonna guess that center, central Anatolia, which is now, yeah, Turkey. Um, basically, because these were the, in the ancient times, Turkey was like the middle of a war zone. I mean, you had empires coming left, south, up, down, north, east, southwest. Um, there was always war in those areas for thousands of years. So the people who lived there, they tried to hide from a lot of people because you had the Persians go through there. You had the Romans go through there. You had the Ottoman going through there. You had the Crusaders going through there. I mean, it just seemed like every century there was another empire coming to conquer the lands. And this went on for, like I said, a couple of thousand years. 
Um, so it, it was, you know, it was, it's not like what we live today. You know, today we got borders and, and, and it's, it's very, very different. Cause region is formed 60 million years ago by your all oh, the area. Okay. But the people, the people, how old is this underground city? Here we go. See the seventh century, eighth and seventh century BC. <coughs> so that's. 2,800, 2,700 years ago. Hmm? Ancient. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. Sorry. The word should be up here. I, Lily already said ancient. Yeah, ancient. There we go. But I'm talking about Cappadocia here, this old, old city. And if you Google it, I, I can't show you the pictures because I don't have the rights. But you'll see that they built underground. The cities are still there today. You can go visit their tourist attractions. But these are people's homes. Look at how they carved into all these rocks and these mountains. And there's a door up here and a window here and a bedroom over there and all over the place. And this, this was 2,700, 2,800 years ago is when these people started building their communities underground and in the mountains. And that was a big, a big part of it was because the, uh, for protection. Because... You know, like I say, there's so many empires. Even the Mongols came through there too. You know, um, Genghis Khan, and oh, it's just crazy. And I, that's why I was saying that you have no idea how lucky we are in the last hundred years, where we actually have civilizations now, not just dictators. You know, it was only you look at your own history. It was only a couple of hundred years ago. I mean, you lived in Kamfa. You had to worry about. Someone from China or Mongol coming in with 30,000 horses and swords, cutting people's heads off and stealing everybody for slaves. It wasn't long ago. So uh, you, you have to be very grateful for the time we live in today. That's for sure. We don't worry about people riding around in horses trying to capture people <laughs> anymore. And this one, Egypt. When, would, when were the Egypt? When was the ancient city of Egypt? A power. When were the pyramids built? Anybody remember? The ancient city of Egypt where you had the big sphinx, the man with the lion body and the pharaohs and these big pyramids, which apparently they were all covered in limestone. So they would shine like mirrors off the, off the sun. Apparently it was just, it would have been something godly to look at. Do you know when those were built? That's even before the Karakata warriors and, and statues here, even before Cap Cappadocia. The Egyptian Empire started four to 5,000 years ago. Even when the Muslims came and took over, um, I forget his name, came and took over the Egyptian Empire because there's like 20 different, again, 20 different kingdoms that ruled in Egypt over a thousand plus years or a few thousand years. Um, they actually ordered the pyramids to be destroyed. And they started on one tiny pyramid and they tried to tear it apart. But it took, I don't know how long it was, years, I guess. And all they managed to do was make a little hole on one side because all the stones were so perfectly placed and each stone weighs like 800 tons or something crazy like that. And then the emperor, the leader at that time, had to give up and said, it's impossible. We cannot destroy these temples, these pyramids. Impossible. It, it would take hundreds of thousands and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of peoples and elephants and everything. And it would take hundreds of years to try to tear one down. That's how amazingly built these pyramids are. Even today, to try to tear it apart would be very, very difficult. And that's four or 5,000 years ago. Even today, we don't know how they built these pyramids. It's like, it's like aliens came to Earth and, and built them for us. And then here, Greece. Greece, yeah, Greece is next to Italy. It has a lot of history, too. Beautiful place to visit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we got three, two, oh, ancient. So three, three Thai now, yeah? What do you call it when someone comes into the house and steals something? What do you call him? What's the verb? Or no, 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 no. It would be a noun. It is a... Yes. 
Um, well, a thief is the person who steals. But I'm talking about this crime. When you break into someone's house illegally, a building, a house, and you steal something and you leave with it. See, like if you steal a car, it's called grand auto theft. If you steal something from a shop, it's called shoplifting. Oh. If you kill someone, it's called murder. Oh. Yeah. If you rob someone in a store with a gun or a knife, it's called armed robbery. Intrusion. Intrusion just means someone has come into your personal space without permission. Intrusion. But it's different when you go into somebody's home. Yeah. See, this one confuses me, too. Because if someone... Robber. What is it? Robber. A robber. A robber is someone who would... Yeah, kind of. Robber, robber. How would I say that? Someone steals your purse, robbed your purse, took your money. But if it's armed in a shop, it would be an armed robbery. It's called burgle. But I, I get a bit confused here, too. This is considered a noun. But in court or in, in what I remember growing up and learning was someone stole something. It was a burglary. A burglary happened. Now, you could say that the place had been burglarized. Right. So burglarized here is a verb. Okay. So it is burglarized. Past tense, burgl burglarized. Enter a building illegally or intent to commit a crime, especially theft. Our summer home has been burglarized. All right. So, yeah. So the house has been burglarized. A burglary has happened. Burglar is the person, right? Burglar. He's a burglar. He's a burglar. Let's see. Burglar. Burglar definition. The person who commits the burglary. Right. So now a burgle, that one confuses me. Yeah, it's a burglar. Ah, see, no, no, this is wrong. Burgle, I, I was right. It's not a noun. It's a verb. And it's the British. So burgle, the house was burgled. That means it's the British word for burglarize. Now I understand what's going on because it's not a word we use in Canada. Right to enter a building illegally with the intent to commit a crime, especially theft, burglarize, burglarize a house. So that's what it is. It's the British verb for burglarize. Okay, but that makes sense because the book we're we're reading is Cambridge, Cambridge University from England. So there's going to be some differences in American and British English. So yeah, I'm not going to give any point for this one, but. I, I should have given it to just for burglar. Oh, my goodness gracious. His house is, the kid is. Messy. Yeah, mess, messy. Mess. She said her life was a mess. Look at this house. Oh, my God. Can you imagine moving in with this person? The wow. house, The house without a mom. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's crazy. That house is so bad. Oof. Does your bedroom look like that, Tree Sung? Yeah. Does your room look like that, Donnie? No. Are you sure? Do I have to ask your mom? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> no. Lily, Lily's uh. room looks like this. You have a messy room, Lily? You and your sister? No. Messy. Yes. Do you and your sister share a bedroom or do you each have your own bedroom? Share. Are you share now? Yeah. All right. Is that you, Donnie, painting when you were a little kid? No. No, not you. It can't be me. It can't be you, huh? Yes. <laughs> no, it don't look like you. <laughs> yeah, a mess. It's not a kid. It's an alien. An alien, yeah. Well, I guess he, he's in diapers. So I'm guessing this is like a two-year-old, maybe. He probably can walk. So that's probably about it. Oh, my God, he's making a mess. Mm -hmm. That's a real big mess. I hope it's water paints. <laughs> Easy to clean. Ay, 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 kids.
Amazing. Oh, and he's kissing it too. Ah! I wonder if this tastes good. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. What's no? I mean, she's got messy hair too. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, so you could, I guess, when you're three or four or five, then you would call them toddlers. Yeah. So, what's the definition here? Something or someone that looks dirty or untidy. So, it can be a person who looks messy, right? They don't take care of their hair. They don't clean their clothes. They don't shave. They could be messy looking or a situation that is full of problems. So, for instance, you could have a nice, clean house, but maybe your life is in a mess. I'm bad at English, so don't kick me. You're not bad at English. You just don't want to try. He's actually really good at English when he pays attention. I'm bad at English. Hmm. Very bad. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. So these it's are thief? people that... Yeah, Robert. It's thief, but how do we say the plural of a thief? Uh, thief. Thieves. Yeah, when it's got that F, right? We're going to have that V-E-S ending. Lily takes a, a two-point lead. 5-3. Yeah. Donnie, what's going on? You haven't got a point yet. <laughs> Damn I! I'm going to tell your mom. No. <laughs> I'm going to say the girls are beating you up. <laughs> yeah now thieves are as far as i can understand again there's a lot of definitions a lot of words when it comes to different crimes they all have their own name and they're as we just learned um american is burglarize and british is burgle to burgle someone i didn't even know that um, but if you steal stuff from someone's house or you steal paintings or you steal internet information, yeah, you're a thief. A thief is someone who steals. People who steal. So a thief or thieves. Yeah. So let's try saying that, Donnie. Thieves. Thieves. Uh, thieves. Yeah, but it's that TH, remember? Th, th. You got to stick your tongue out a little bit. <laughs> Just like think thick <laughs> three thank Thieves. you th, th, th. thieves th, th. Yes. thieves 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 yeah eve eves eves perfect thieves yeah a thief in the night or the thieves have gotten away Chi sang Thieves. Thieves. Mallow? Thieves. <laughs> you, I heard you, but your face didn't move. <laughs> what? I heard you, but your face didn't move until I two think seconds you after. Lag. You have a little lag, or maybe I have a little lag. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe, maybe my little has maybe my little has a little bit lag. Foggy. Blurry, foggy, thieves. 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 The only good thing about the blurry, foggy screen, Mimi, Lily, is that the light behind your head is not so bright anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sun. Who said you could copy me? That's the sun. Yeah. Oh, I my be you. God, you live outside. Sheesh. <laughs> All right. So this one now, I told you, someone steals your money. Right, and or uses a knife or a gun. What do we call the this? Robbers. Yeah, this is a well, this is going to be the noun. He's a robber. This guy's a robber. He stole all the well, we don't know, but I'm thinking like a bank robber or something. Robber. Robbery, it's going to be a robbery. Oh. Robbery is the noun, robbery. Yeah, and that's why if the if you use a weapon. Any kind of weapon. I, I think even like a baseball bat or sticks or, or anything that you could use as a weapon. Remember weapon? Yeah, weapon is a, something you can use to attack someone or hurt someone. A gun, a knife, a spear, a sword. Um, could, could even be like a tool. Anything to use that would be dangerous against a person. Um, then they would call it armed. 
an armed robbery. So in order for it to be an armed robbery, you have to use a weapon. And that is much more serious of a crime when you go to court, too. Um, if it's just robbery, it means you didn't threaten anybody. You just went in and stole stuff and left. But you didn't hurt anybody and you didn't threaten to hurt anybody. It's still a crime. Crime is all of it, all the bad things that you're not supposed to do. But, of course, maybe arm robbery, you could get like five or ten years in prison. But maybe robbery, you could only get maybe two to five years in prison or something. They're all bad. But armed robbery is a very, very serious one. And bank robbery. Robbery. Donnie. Robbery. Robbery. Yeah. Mimi? Robbery. Yeah. Trisang? Robbery. Yeah. Lily? Robbery. Oh. He is sneezing. Detail. Oh. Mm, slight details. But batteries, batteries are not mm, with this robot. You buy the robot, but you have to buy the batteries separate. So the batteries are not in the package. Or this guy's got a cold. Yeah, he's sneezing. He's coughing. Maybe he's, he's got a runny nose. Maybe he's got a sore throat. The symptoms of the common cold, <clears throat> including, yeah, include, include. So it could be including, included, or just include. Yeah. Donny, 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 where is Donny today? Uh, Donny isn't here now. It's now it's Donny from Mars. Donny from Mars? No, there's no yes. Donny on my planet. They don't have Donnies here. No Donnies. They're all Trevors. Everybody's name is Trevor. Where? Really? On, Mar on Mars. Well, but I'm in the Earth. It's what? I'm in the Earth. You're on Earth, but Donnie said there's no Donnie here. This is Donnie from Mars. And I said there's no Donnie on Mars. Donnie from Mars. <laughs> Donnie from Mars. <laughs> Donnie from Mars. Maybe Where's he's on the Saturn. Saturn. On the Saturn. Or maybe he's just the imposter. <laughs> No. Oh, I think that's true. It's the imposter. It's not the real Donnie. It's a little bit, see? I mean, it's it's a weird motion. <laughs> Where's Trisung from? What planet? Hmm? Where's Trisung's planet? What planet are you from? Yeah, 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 yeah. I ah, see problems. Include. Yeah, to put something in with it. Sometimes it could be like you get a hotel, right? And your breakfast is included. So you get your rent a room and you get a free breakfast. Included. What else could be included? Maybe. Ah, well, like some of the programs with uh, New Way. If you buy the program, there are some grammar classes included. Right? Yeah. So you get something. It's almost like a bonus. Are included in a group. Really? Yeah. Like a group? Could be included in a group. Maybe you. Cabbage? Uh -huh. It's not a cabbage. It's not a. Oh, yeah, come on. Say it right. <laughs> it's not wine. Say it again, Lily. What? Tempage? Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, what? Well, it's a French word. So it's pronounced a little bit different. In French, it's champagne. Champagne. And it's very expensive. It's like a it's um it's like a sparkling wine. You see, it has bubbles in it. It's not like a normal wine, right? Because it's got pink, fizzy white made in eastern France. An expensive white, pink, fizzy wine. So it is considered a wine, but it's a fizzy wine most wines you look at it, it doesn't have bubbles in it the white wine or the red wine and then there's another one called zinfandel and zinfandel is another kind of wine too but it's more like a champagne it, it can be a little bit more fizzy it's pink um i remember when i worked in restaurants i used to sell wine um and so i, I some of our training we we would have to do wine testing 
right? So that we could test all the different wines and that way it was easier to sell to the customers and we could explain that it had a very fruitful taste or it had a dry aftertaste and, and that would help us sell and make more money. Of course, selling, selling, selling. We're always selling something. I liked the Zinfandel was, was one of my more favorite of the wines. I'm, I'm not a big wine liker, to be honest. I can have a drink, but I don't like it that much. But the champagne, I like it. It's, it's almost like a soda drink in a way. It's fizzy. You get the same kind of effect as a Coca-Cola or 7-Up or something. But it's good. But it's alcoholic again. It's, it's the same as wine. You know, you, you shouldn't drink champagne or wine until you're an adult, especially until after you finish school, because alcohol has a lot of negative effects on the development of your brain. It shows that a lot of kids that drink alcohol uh, when they're teenagers, uh, secretly, you know, they sometimes they go out with their friends and they drink some alcohol. It can damage some of the development in the brain for you while you're growing up. So it's not a good idea. I mean, better wait yeah, until you're an adult. Mm-hmm. No, but some kids, you know, some kids are naughty and they want to, if they're told not to try something, then that's exactly what they're going to try, you know. Um, I don't know about what Vietnamese kids are like, but I know in Canada, when we were young, a lot of kids, when they were told not to do something, that's exactly what they tried to try <laughs> to do. So I, I hope you've never done it, at least not without the presence of your parents. But I'm, I'm just suggesting that you should wait. If you really want to have some wine or beer or something, then you should wait until you graduate and then you could have a little celebration and then you will have a big headache and you'll see why it's not really a good thing. <laughs> not a good thing. So try not to. Don't be eager to try something that's not good for you. It's just like cigarettes. I mean, there's not even any point in trying. There is nothing but negative effects of cigarettes in health, everything. Uh, finance, you name it. Cigarettes are horrible for you. Nothing good from cigarettes. Nothing. Not one thing. Yeah. So, Trisan, do you like champagne? No, I don't. <laughs> You've never tried it. Cham. Okay, in English, it's P-E-I-N. Ain. Just like the rain. Champagne. No G. Champagne. Pain, just like pain. You give me a pain in the beep beep. Pain, just like the rain. Pain. Champagne. Champagne. Yeah. Mimi Milo. Sham, champagne. 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 No, no S. Champagne. No S. Champagne. Champagne, just like the rain. Champagne. I like to I like to drink champagne in the rain. On a train. In the rain. <laughs> when I'm in pain, I like to drink champagne on the train when it rains. In a royal champagne in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's gonna be a little watery. Lily, champagne. Idea. Champagne. Yeah. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Let's see what I wrote here. When I'm in pain, I like to drink champagne on the train in the rain. <laughs> there you go, Donnie. Try that one. Um, when I'm in pain, I like to drink champagne on the train in the rain. Yeah, this is pretty easy, actually. Easy, yeah? easy. easy peasy. Mimi Milo. Very easy. When I'm in pain, I like to drink champagne on the train in the rain. Yeah, I should it's be poor. <laughs> this one's easy. Lily. When I'm in pain, I like to drink champagne on the train in the rain. Yeah, that's an easy one. I think I had harder ones in stars this morning. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. This is really hard to explain. I don't even understand it. It's all about physics. So what is that? Five. Oh, that's another point. So six, four for Lily right now. Really close still. Okay. So what do we call this thing? Ah, uh, Neil Little next to Albert Einstein considered the founding fathers of electrons. Yeah, you know, I am not 
uh, a physics teacher or a chemist teacher. Um, and this is, I don't know if it's the smallest amount of a, the smallest amount or unit of something, especially energy. And that could be an electron or neutron. Um, I mean, electron is positive, neutron is negative, I think. I, I don't even remember. But it's actually quantum. And, it, and it's in our reading. For some crazy, yeah, we're talking about quantum computers that we will eventually create a quantum computer. And that will be like the super most powerful computer we've ever, we've ever had. In physics, a quantum is the minimum amount of any physical entity involved in an interaction. The fundamental notion that a physical property can be quantized is preferred to as the hypothesis of quantization. quantization. I really can't explain it any better because I, I really don't understand these physics myself. But the word was quantum. Potion? Potion? Not potion. We already did potion. Try again. It's close, but it's not potion. Potion. Oh, close. Poison. Poi. Oi, oi, gee, oi. Poison. <laughs> poison. Potion. Potion and poison. Yeah, a little bit different. Po, shun, and oi, poi, zun, different. So it could be a poison potion, <laughs> a substance that can make people or animals ill or kill them if they eat it or drink it. Yeah, just like a snake bite that has a deadly venom. Yeah, the venom here is going to bite this. Look at the tube. Oh, right there, all that squirt ah! out of his fangs. It's just crazy how these creatures are even created in life. Yeah, and some of them, some of them are not bad, but I have a feeling that's the picture of a very poisonous snake. It looks like a brown snake from Australia, and they're very poisonous. You can die from getting bit by one of those guys. There's a lot of snakes that are dangerous. Poison. Yeah, all right. Hmm. Now, of course, we have to have a plan, but in order to execute the plan, we have to have a, right, let me explain the plan. What? Idea. Well, idea first, then make a plan, and then to execute the plan, you have to have some kind of a philosophy. You have to have a... If. Starts with an S. Experience. A what? Experience. Ooh, experience means you've done it before. You have knowledge, right? It's not the first time. All right, that's a good plan. But how do you think we're going to do it? Like this. Let me explain. So what am I explaining now? All right. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Sure, we could put that. But how are we going to get behind that wall and that high like, like this? You see that pole over there and that beam? We're just going to do, 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 do. Oh, that's a good strategy. Strategy is the word I'm looking for. Yeehaw. Oh, my God. Lily. Strategy. You have to have a good strategy in everything in life and study. Right. How are you going to get things done? Right? Because you're going to have a bad strategy and everything falls apart. So a good strategy is very important. Now, I already told you guys where this story takes place. Not where it was written. It was probably written in London, England. But the story of Romeo and Juliet. Where did it happen? In Italy. <laughs> Italy. Yeah, that's the Italian flag. Yeah, I don't know what this background is. Italy Italy is a, is a place I very much want to visit someday. I think I would very much like it there, especially with the food and, and the history. And oh, my God, I think it would be really cool. I'd love to visit. I will. That's that's my that's in my bucket list. The things I have to do before I die and no matter what I do, I'm going to visit Italy and tour as much of it as I can. And this is the leaning tower of what? 
Pizza. Pizza. Pizza Tower. Pizza. Oh, yeah, Pizza. we already have. We already have. We already Pizza. have Italy. I forgot to put Italy up. Yeah. Let me write this again. Clear, 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 clear. All right, let's do this again. Where is it? Oh. Ah, text. Here we go. Okay, let's try this again. We have uh, now. The funny thing is, is the food with the double Z. The way the Italians pronounce it, it's pizza. Z Z, paparazzi. C C Z Z E, paparazzi. The, the the media. That's an Italian word. Pizza. It's there's no Z in the food. It's actually pronounced pizza. And pizza. yeah, but the city here with an S. Pizza. This is actually pronounced with a Z. Pizza. Oh. What? In Italian, the S's sound like Z's. And the Zs sound like TS in Italian. So, so that's why this one is, I hope I got that right. <laughs> the food is called pizza, pizza. pizza. The city is called Pisa. <laughs> now, these are famous. They grow in... On Mediterranean trees in Italy and Greece, all the Mediterranean area. And I love these. They're oh, so good. What are they? Oliva. Yeah, that's right. But I think Donnie said it. What did you say, Donnie? Oil. Oil? Yes. Oh, so close. We get some of the best oils in the world. Oh, from Oliva. Oliva. Yeah. Tree. It's, yeah, it, and it grows on the Mediterranean olive tree. And there are like a hundred different kinds of olives. There's a lot of different olives. Maybe even more than a hundred. I forget. How many olives are there? No, 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 no. How many olives? Yeah, about a hundred and fifty different kinds of. There are hundreds. Per, oh, no. Whoa. There are hundreds, perhaps thousands of olive vari varieties all over the world. However, about 150 are regularly cultivated and eaten and making, and making olive oil. Different olive varieties taste different due to many factors, including soil and weather conditions, uh, when they are harvested. Yeah. So there's like hundreds to even up to a thousand different types of olives. So I was, yeah, there's hundreds. All right. Hundreds for sure. Um, these green ones are, are some of the most popular ones on pizza. We often see the, uh, the black ones and you're right about oil. Cause there is some oil here in the bottom picture, pouring some oil on the olives. Um, and the, from what I understand, the most one of the most healthiest oils to use for salads, even you don't even have to use it for cooking, like just to even put it in salads and breads uh, and herbs and spices is oil that we make from or get from olives. Yeah. I, I, I know olives are not very popular in Indonesia or in Vietnam, but um, I love them. And since I started buying some at New Way, even Lay and the staff, they like olives now. But they didn't like it the first time they tried. <laughs> Not the first time. But after you eat it a few times, mm, yummy, yummy. Yummy? Yummy. Mm. Yeah. They're really, really yummy. I like it. Is that nine points for you now, Lily? I don't know. <laughs> I think so. All right. So we already talked about Italy. What's the capital city of Italy? What is the famous, famous capital city? One of the oldest Roma. cities in the world. Yeah. Say it again. Roma. Well, that's not how we say it in English. And maybe Roma. that's how they say it. I'm not sure how they say it in Italian. No. Yeah, Rome. Roma. Roma. But we're going to give that. Yeah. In English, we say Rome. 
Let's see. I don't know. Roma. I've heard that too. I've heard that too. Let's see. Rome pronunciation. I've heard many people say Roma. Rome. All right. So in, in English, it's Rome. But, 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 I think the football team is a Roma. Here we go. How is Rome pronounced in Italy? Let's see. Yeah. Roma. English or American to say Roma. Roma. Or in Italian, Roma. 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 Here is how to pronounce the city of Paris, but in French. Paris. Paris in French is Paris. Buongiorno. We are looking at how to say Rome in Italian. Of course, this is the capital city of the beautiful country of Italy in Europe. Of course, in English we say Rome, but in Italian it is spelt with an A at the end. How do you go about pronouncing it with a typical Italian pronunciation? Roma. 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 You do want to stress Welcome on the Welcome to Rome. Roma. Hello. You find in I'm English Rome to say Rome. <laughs> From Roma. Yeah, with the Italian accent. Welcome to Rome. <laughs> really Roma. roll the R's. Rome. Roma. <laughs> Viva la Roma. But that's French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rome is the capital city. Yeah. And inside Rome, which is really, really funny, the world's smallest country, which is kind of also considered a city state, has its own government and everything. So think about this, right? You have Italy, the country. Italy is the size of Vietnam. It's really, really close in square kilometers. It's like only 30,000 square kilometers difference. I forget which one's bigger. Very close. And they're both long and skinny. In the middle of Italy is Roma, the capital city. And then inside Rome, Rome, the capital city, they're the world's smallest country. Is there? Does anybody know what country that is? Hmm, it's the Vatican City. The Vatican City has its own armament, walls around it, and it's where the Pope lives. It's the home of the Catholic Church. And that little, I think it's only seven miles all the way around. It's like 10 kilometers. You can walk around the whole country in, in one afternoon. And that, that's its own country. And it's run by the Pope, the, the, the high priest, the Pope. And uh, they have their own law, their own government, everything. And they are their own country. And it's va the Vatican. Pretty amazing. I'd love to go to Rome. There he is. Who is that guy? He's the head of the Vatican. The head of the Roman Catholic Church. <laughs> I just he told him. What is he? Who is he? Popey. <laughs> it's not Popey. <laughs> we don't pronounce oh. the E. Pope. It's just oh. the Pope. Pope. Yeah, the Pope. Oh. Finally, Donnie gets a point. Oh my God, the girls are still kicking the beep out of you. Do you feel any pain? No, <laughs> I don't need point. Yeah, this is the leader of the Roman Catholic Church. The Roman Catholic Church is a very, very powerful religion, of course, big like Christians and Muslims. Um, but they have their own little country, like I say, Vatican City in the, in the city of Rome, their own country. And it's the smallest country in the world. Now, here's Italy right here. All right, but this this question now is a little different. Before I hit the well, I can hit the play buttons. That I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. The Dolomites are the mountains in this area. These mountains that you see here, this is the part of Italy. See now, Italy is like this this shoe right here, this long boot. Yeah, all the way up here and over to about here somewhere. Venice is in here. I think in here probably because that's where the city built on water. Uh, Rome is Rome is a, around the middle over here somewhere. Rome, and then all the other cities in Italy. This is all Italy. Sicily, the big island at the bottom, is also part of down here. This island at the bottom that's called Sicily, and it is an island. 
and it's part of Italy as well. So let's, let's stop here. Okay. All right. Now, what I understand is it's one of the last European countries to develop because of all these mountains that surrounded the top. It was not easy. You see these mountains? Look, they have snow caps on them. They're really rough and rugged. It's not easy to go climbing those in a barefoot or a pair of sandals and with a family and babies and everything else. And it's long. You know, that's like, I don't know how long, but it would take you a long time to cross that if by foot. You don't have an airplane. So it was relatively safe. This is why the Roman Empire, which was the Italians, the Romans, this is why they had such a big dynasty to empire for so long because it was easy to defend the north very easy to defend with all the mountains and they had a very big navy so it was really hard to get to them because they had lots of battleships um, so they had a lot of advantages but these mountains over here i'm going to get my little marker here for a minute over here now Dum, 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 dum. Let's see, I'm going to get my little map out here again. You know, this is the, la the last word, then we'll take our nap. Our nap. <laughs> our break. Oh, okay. Um, map. Map, 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 map. All right. So just to make sure I am correct, let me get over to Italy here in the Mediterranean Sea. Yeah, okay. So what we have is, oh, where are you? There you are. All right. So the Italian, the Italian border basically runs right in, in the mountains. Okay. So part of the mountains belong to Italy. And then, and these are different countries, right? So you've got Slovenia over here. You have got Austria on this side of the mountains. Austria. And then you've got Austria kind of goes a little bit up there and then comes back this way. And then you got Germany up here. But here you have Switzerland in here, Switzerland on the border. And then on this side, you have France. Okay, so you can see that there are there are a lot of borders, right? There's Slovenia, Austria. Oh, is that another country there? What's that? Oh, I don't even know what that is. It's Switzerland and France all border Italy. But the borders are all in the mountains. So part of the mountains belong to Italy. Part of the mountains belong to Austria. Part of the mountains belong to Switzerland. That's why Switzerland is mostly in the mountains. And part of the mountains belong to France. So they're shared. What is the name of this mountain range? It's the most famous mountain range in Europe. And it's got the tallest mountains. Does anybody know what we call it? Now, France calls it something. Italy calls it something. Dolomites is the part of the mountain range you can see down here in this picture, which is this region here. And then France calls it the French something and the Swiss something and the Austrian something. What? What is the name of that mountain range for the last point of the day? Very important geography fact of life. Very important. Life and death. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So A lot of history here. Probably more history around these mountains than any other mountains in the world. Nobody knows? Hmm. Unbelievable. Very easy. They're called the Alps. Peace. Yeah, the French Alps. A lot of people call it the French Alps because the French really made it pop, uh, popular on their side. Very touristy. But the mountain range, all the, you see all this white in the picture here? Right? You see all the white? Yes. Well, those are the 
ice caps on the top of the mountains. Those are where all the tallest mountains are. And that's how you know exactly where they are. The more white it is, the higher the mountain is. See, if you look at this picture down here, notice that there's no snow down here. There's all trees. There's no snow here either. But over here, look at the top, full of snow. And the tree, the, the trees stop growing at a certain point. So if you have a mountain, all right, let's just draw a simple, simple, simple mountain. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Now let's say the trees stop growing here because there's always a line. You can see the line. They stop growing right there. See, you can see it. All mountains that are high enough, you can see where the trees stop growing. And it's one straight line everywhere. It doesn't matter where you go. The reason, well, can anybody tell me why the trees don't grow any higher than this line? Hmm? Anybody know why? Anybody guess? No. You don't know? Lily, Mimi, any idea? You could have a big forest down here, but no more trees. What the hell? <laughs> what happened? No one can explain. Does Miss Lay remember? I think I can guess. What is it? What's the reason? Is it too cold? Oh, it's not about temperature, because then we wouldn't have any trees in Canada or Russia. It's about how thin the air is, not enough oxygen to breathe. Hmm. The trees can't breathe. The higher you go into our atmosphere, the less oxygen there is. The air gets thinner and thinner and thinner. So beyond this point, there's not the, the air is so thin that trees cannot grow anymore. That's why when people climb Mount Everest, right? That's like a third higher than the tallest mountain anywhere else in the world. They have to have gas masks because you have to breathe in more oxygen and take breaks all the time to breathe, to get extra oxygen in you. Otherwise you're going to get sick and you're going to have liquids or something in your, in your lungs and you, you'll die because the air is so thin. And as well, Lay was right about one thing there too, is the higher you go, the colder it gets. Even here in Vietnam, the higher you go in the sky, the colder it gets, the closer you get to the atmosphere. Uh, when you're in a plane up there, if you were to jump outside the plane at 30,000 feet or whatever, I forget what the heights are. It's like minus 50 or minus 60 or something crazy like that. It's very, very cold. And that's why you have. You have snow on the top of these mountains. And even in the summer. When it's 30 degrees down here and you're swimming way down here in the lake and it's a beautiful 30 degrees and it's so hot and you're looking up at the mountains and you see all the snow up there. It's like, how is that possible? It's 30 degrees outside. Well, it's 30 Celsius here, but it's probably minus five here. Oh. The higher you go, the colder it gets. Because when I lived in the Rocky Mountains in Canada, in the summertime, it's really hot and we're swimming in the lakes and we're golfing and it's beautiful and hot. But at the top of all the mountains around our village and our town, there's still frozen ice and ice caps and snow up there. And in the summer, you climb in the mountains, it starts snowing because it gets cold. All right. So now, you know, it gets colder. So that's why we have snow at the top. The air gets thinner the higher you go, and that's why the trees do not have enough oxygen to breathe.
that's my history lesson today and that's my geography lesson today <laughs> and english and now you're all miss lays <laughs> it's a little bit long lesson but i we will just uh, go through this quickly and then you can take a break not a break time. never a break <laughs> we have to do this fast and then uh, we can have a break time Don't need yeah. the first. It's easy. Some is so easy. It's just a few new words. All the others. Lily first. Old. <laughs> But they winners, not you. <laughs> Member. Yeah, we okay. can. She first. She wins. She first. <laughs> Lady first. Donny, we can go anywhere. Donnie, you yeah, only got one go. vocab the whole class. Remember. So whoever is last always goes first. <laughs> Remember. So if you want to go last, all you got to do is win the vocab challenge. But Lily won. Remember. Remember. That's easy. Remember. Remember the member? <laughs> In November? Or was Remember it December? The member. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> that is the that is, that is, that is, that is. Donnie, don't make me go kick your beep beep. <laughs> I have to pay the phone uh, to call your mom. <laughs> okay, Donnie, we still have to do all the skills. So, what is your example with member? Uh, he is a member of this club. Club. Yeah. He is a member of member. this club. Yeah. Pronunciation too. Milo. Furious. Furious. Actually, he is full. Furious. I, I get that is both. Fast and furious. Fur, furious, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> furious is Fur. British English and American English is full. Furious. Mm, that's not how they say it in America. So scared because a furious woman stand uh, <laughs> in front of my door of my room. <laughs> oh my god, you talking about your mom again? <laughs> so there is a lag here. <laughs> okay, Lily, number three. Secret. Do you know any secrets of her? No, of course not. That's why it's called secret. Donnie, brief. Oh no, not secrets uh, of her. It's gonna be do you know any of her secrets or do you know any secrets about her? Not any secrets of her. Do you know any secrets about her? Yeah. Okay. Lily, you said, do you know any secrets of her? Right? That 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 doesn't make sense. It's do you know any secrets about her? Okay, about or do you know any secrets hmm, about her? What was the other possibility? Any secrets? Do you know any? I get it. Do you know any of her secrets? Of her secrets, the things that she doesn't want to tell you? You know, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. Okay. You have to be careful with that one. Breast. Breast. We have another one is vegan, right? Oh, so many preacher vegans. Oh, okay. Pastors. Oh, God. It, it's just a job, Peter Donny. It's just a noun. So we can speed up a little bit here. Yes. Uh, he is a priest. He That's is a priest. He is a priest. Okay, so yes. at least pronunciation is right. Try to have a right, proper pronunciation. He is a priest in, of, the, of the church <laughs> near my area. He priest where? Who? Who he? Chair Chava, Mr. Chava said that is terrible that at our level that we just make very, very simple sentence like that. Absolutely, he is the priest okay. of the church. Uh, try we like uh, try to put more detail for example he is the um he is a uh, popular or he is the uh, priest who works somewhere right the church in our city okay try to give more detail and try to make like maybe longer or complex complex 
complex uh, sentence or sentences. Now you really have to like uh, uh, change the attitude and then really have to get into um, making sentences and grammar. We have to learn one way or the other. All right, my law number five, special portion. Mm, I want to have a kind of special potion to decorate my desk. <laughs> Do you believe that this exists? Uh, no, of course it doesn't exist. Just in the movie or in the cartoon or in the story yeah. or in the fairy tale? Fairy tale. Mm, not really sure about this. Actually, I still heard people in the north, like especially in a mountainous area. A lot of story about this. I'm not really sure if it still exists or not. Not sure. Okay. Um, Lily, ancient. Of course, see? A lot of like uh, easy and old vocabulary. Look at Number that ancient statue. statue. Someone destroyed it. Hmm. Look at that ancient statue. Okay, the next one is Bugle. Bugle. It's Donny. It's, 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 this one is the now. Uh, it's a cram. The criminal has cut his. Because he is buckle. Because of his buckle. Burgled. Because he's buckle. This one is the verb too. Yes. I heard Mr. Trevor say that it's um, British. Uh, verb, verb, yeah, okay. Verb. Oh, so kind of we, yeah, here is the verb. Okay, USA is buckler, buckler rice. Okay, buckler rice, burger, burger. Yeah. So he was arrested because he burgered, right? Burgered. Yes. Um. Back to what? Donny so Milo mess. My mom told me my bedroom is a mess. Instead, <laughs> uh, instead of it's pretty. Clean than my other friends. Mm. <laughs> okay. So you have to tidy your room. Yes. All right. Mom always say something like that. Uh, Lily, thieves. Oh. Number nine, Lily. That's the thieves are very ugly. <laughs> ugly? Yeah. You're so tired too. You're so making it very simple. Okay, robbery. Back to Donny. Another crime. Hmm? Number 10. Rope. Robbery. Uh, he has cut his because his rope. So it's the same. Yes. He got the first person. The person. Robbery no, is now. The seven. Is buckle the tiny robbery? Robbery. Look at the phonics. You already learned the phonics, right? Robbery. Yes. He was arrested because he, what? Like a. Found guilty for. Did, did the robbery or what? Yeah. What is the verb? He did rob. Rob. He robbed the, the liquor store. Um, but the robbery is the noun, of course. So he was found guilty or he was arrested for the robbery of or for the, the bank robbery. Yeah, robbery. He was arrested because he found in the robbery, bank robbery. He was arrested for the bank robbery. Okay, for the bank robbery. He was robbery. found guilty for the robbery. Donnie, so you know, that that's the way we learn that, right? So if we make the... Mm -hmm. um, make the sentence and then <laughs> we are corrected by Mr. Shiva. I think you even try to kind of write. 
And another way to learn, I think you also can go to Cambridge Dictionary and put the word there. And of course, they have a lot of examples. We have to somehow, some way improve this, right? All right, that's robbery. So now back to... Lily. No, it's Milo. Oh, Mimi, yeah. Yeah, Milo, include. So remember the pictures. I think that uh, any sample and uh, sample have sodium, including so into sodium. Wait, I cannot hear it clearly. Include. Uh, I think sam every sample uh, include shampoo includes yeah includes uh sodium. 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 No yeah. idea, but sounds good. Yeah, it's just about grammar, <laughs> but I'm <laughs> like uh, not sure about chemistry. Um, now is Lily champagne. Lily, she drank too much champagne <laughs> this morning. It's very light. <laughs> Can, can people get drunk by drinking champagne? Yeah, okay. it's just like wine. It's got alcohol. I, I thought that it's very, very light. Maybe you it is. agree. It okay. is light. But for sure, someone, uh, someone doesn't drink alcohol, so maybe still get drunk. Well, get it's drunk. quantity, right? Mm. Some people can drink two, two glasses of wine or two bottles of beer and, and feel nothing. Some people are like, oh, my God, I feel dizzy. You know, some people can drink six or seven bottles of beer and, and, and still be half drunk and the other person would be in a hospital. You know, it's different sure. for everybody. That's right. What do they call about that? Like, a, like a, your ability? Your to... threshold. Mm. Just yeah. like pain. Your threshold for pain. Some people, you know, cry from a mosquito bite. Other person could have their arm cut off. It's like, oh, man, this is not good. It hurts, but we got to go to the hospital. Come on, let's hurry up. You know, threshold. threshold. How much you can take. Okay, threshold. Nice uh, level, right? Okay. Is there actually the, 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 the real meaning? It's just threshold of the house? Uh, yeah, I've heard that expression, but I'm not exactly sure what it means. Okay. Um, that is... Champagne and that is Lily. So back to Donnie. Quantum, uh, actually. Quantum. Quantum. That's really quantum. tough. I don't know. Quantum. Do you quantum. understand it? The smallest amount? The smallest, yeah, the smallest. But they said that is still squat or something else. Yeah. We believe that the smallest, but a lot of people don't believe it. They think it's still something smaller. They call yeah. squat or what? Could be. We're, we're going into the realm of Einstein now, and it's mm. beyond me. I don't do, understand that stuff. Do you know a lot about this, Donnie? 13? No. No, so just say uh, it, right? There, there is I something to called more. quantum physics. Mm. Like, I have to learn more about quantum, right? Something quantum like physics. Physics? Yeah. Quantum I is part of the physics science. More about Mm. Learn more. I, I want to learn, learn more about, about quantum, quantum physics. Mm. I need to learn more about quantum. I need to learn more about quantum. I need to, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Um, Milo, the next one, poison, right? The other is portion. This one is poison. Very different. <laughs> you can use the, the adjective like a poison, poison nurse. Right. If I hold the poison leaf in my hand, I will eat it. <laughs> it's half cray. <laughs> I'm not really sure when you use the first uh, conditional. If I hold a poison in my hand, I will eat it. I will drink it. I would. I think maybe well, it's the you second. Say what it is, you should use it as a as um, this you know that's poison. Um, if you're holding something in your hand, I don't know what you could hold in your hand that would be called poison. So it would be <laughs> an adjective. So it would be a poisonous something. 
poisonous apple. Poison leaves. Poisonous. Poisonous leaves. No leaves. Leaves, okay. Yeah, in the north, we also have that. They call langon or something. Yeah, yeah. That they said that if people eat, people die because the poisonous, uh, poisonous. Um, what's that element in the leaves? <laughs> I don't know. The the, the story that the people suicide by eating that. Okay, so poison, or poisonous, poison, or poisonous. It's Lily still there. Yes. Share, Sergi. You should share. We need, a, we need a strategy to win this match. <laughs> yes, we need share, Sergi. Back to Donny. Wow. It's like in just four or in just ten. <laughs> Italy. Italy. Say something beautiful. Make a beautiful sentence about Italy. Okay. All right. We are listening to you. Italy. Oh, champagne is made from Italy. <laughs> so what they use the, the mountains or the, the earth? Oh, or I the trees? That. Made what? from Italy? What is made from Italy? Champagne. Nothing is made champagne. from champagne. Champagne. Italy. Champagne. Champagne. It's a country. How can the country do something like that? In but is it right? No. I thought France, right? Yes. France famous oh, for. The I see on a um, lot of um, champagne is right made from Italy. No, champagne is made in Eastern France. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I guess that we just can play on champagne. Um, Italy. Italy. Italy is a beautiful country. Are you sure? Have you ever been there? No. How do you know? I see on the picture. <laughs> they fake, they Photoshop. <laughs> okay. It can be that. Um, Milo, Olive. This is the same as A L L. All. Oh, I'm sorry. Olive. 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 Uh, I haven't eat olive, and now I don't know the taste of <laughs> olive. Of olives, okay. Yes. I have never, or I haven't eaten olives yes. yet, so I don't know the taste of this fruit. I don't know how it tastes. How it tastes? Mm, I don't know how it tastes. Um, they, right? They taste. Yeah, they. They. Actually, you know what, Mr. Trevor, this that is yummy. But for me, I know that is really, they are really healthy, right? The oil and even the olives. You know that is very, they are very salty. That's the way. No, not all, some. The green they, ones are salty. There's hundreds of kinds. But for me, uh, I have to say that it's really, really delicious or yummy. I don't even say that, but I think I know that they are healthy. <laughs> so I kind of like want <laughs> to eat them. <laughs> Olive. Okay. Lily. They are a fruit, by the way. Fruit? Yeah, a fruit. Yeah. Mm. Um, Lily, Rome. A lot about Italy today. <laughs> oh, story My friend too. went to Rome and ate a lot of pizza there. <laughs> I want to I want to go to Rome and eat or I went to Rome and ate a lot of pizza. Already happened, right? Yeah. You did it. <laughs> Not really sure how Italy now, how Italy is now after COVID and everything. Um back to Donny. Pope. 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 Oh. Very powerful, right? Powerful guy. Pope. Uh, the Pope died uh, because of the poison. What's <laughs> 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 that, that man, uh, Donnie? The Pope? The Pope died the Pope because of the poison. Died because of the poison. Yes. Poison. Who poison. even? 
who even who even dare to do something like that mm you know it's in the movie now is censored no movie no film you read about that no i think that. you made it up <laughs> no. what okay milo the elves it must be plural but here we say singular plural. yeah it has to be plural because plural. Many, many mountains, the elves yeah so what's your example about this uh, the, with this the elves are located oh, in uh, europe are uh, located are uh, located in europe located in hmm. plural are uh, located in europe Okay, so they still take a short break, right? Yeah. Okay, so break time then. Goodbye from Miss Lee.